yeah, I'm in another place. I moved again, once again. So this is uh, this is a, a different place that I'm in now. Uh, still in Rio. As a matter of fact, all the way in the north zone. So yeah, kind of like this is like my old stomping grounds again. You know, I like being I like being here in the north zone. You know, this is where I this is where it all started for me. You know, back a couple of years ago, a few years ago. Um, yeah, I, one of the first places I stayed, you know, here in Brazil for a long period of time. So it's right here in the North Zone. So, and if y'all don't know, as far as like North Zone, what are you talking about North Zone? Uh, Rio, Rio de Janeiro, the city of Rio de Janeiro, uh, the areas are broken down into different um, zones. So, are you know Portuguese zonas. So with these zonas in Rio you have three if I'm not mistaken. You have three. So you have the South Zone, Zona Sul, which is pretty much just where all the tourists, you know, where all you know where where they all hang out. Pretty much Zona Sul comprised of the big three. I'll call them the big three. You know, with the beach areas, neighborhoods, Copacabana, Ipanema and Leblon. And also Zona Sul is where, if I'm not mistaken, that's where downtown Rio, Rio de Janeiro is. Um, it's where uh, it's called Central. So I think that's, that takes up, uh, that's, that's a part of Central too. So, you know, y'all let me know in the comments, man, that's for sure. Let, definitely let me know in the comments. But uh, uh, that's pretty much Zona Sul. You know, you got other areas, neighborhoods, and Zona Sul, but typically those three areas, you know, those are the the well, the most well-known areas of Zona Sul. Now, then you have Zona Oeste, or the West Zone, which is uh, comprised of big neighborhoods like Jacare Pagua, sorry, uh, which I stayed, stayed at previously before moving here in the North Zone. Um, and Barra de Tijuca. So those are two of the, the prominent areas of Zona Waste, but there's there's many more. Uh, like I say, you, like I said, you have um, you know um, what's some other areas? Uh, you got like in Zona Waste, you got Campo Grande, you got uh, Bangu, you have uh, it's 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 a lot, it's a lot, but. His name is, is, is some of the ones I've been to, you know, uh, Jacara Pagua and Baya Tijuca. So those those are two prominent ones. Then last but not least, you have Zona Norte on the North Zone, which is where I'm at currently. So you know, uh, this is you know it's the area part of Rio where you know it, it catches a lot of stereotypes. You know, um, in you know this is the area where where you know it, it gets a lot of bad press because here in the north zone this is where a majority of your favelas are located uh and uh for your for those that don't know favelas are pretty much are like uh, just low economic areas you know the hoods you know of, of rio de janeiro the ghettos the slums every however you want to call them but uh yeah so zona north is typically home for a lot of, uh, of favelas, so it's a lot of, um, you know, a lot of bad criminal, criminal activities that be going on, but not as bad as, in my opinion, you know, some of the other areas in Rio, but uh, especially like some of the tourist areas, man, but you know, but, but crime is everywhere. So pretty much those are your three zones of uh, Rio de Janeiro, so, but I mean, don't don't get it twisted, man. I mean, they'll all three areas are great, depending where you, depending what you want to do, depending where you want to go, you know. So just make sure you do your research, especially to all my, all my first time travelers that that want to come here to Brazil. I'm sorry, to um to Rio. Uh, so just definitely, you know, just definitely want to do your research. Definitely want to do your research. Uh, I I recommend if this is gonna be your like your first time, 
it's gonna be your first time coming to Brazil or coming to Rio. I recommend you come in starting in the in South Zone, like Zona Sul, Copacabana, I, I, Leblon, Ipanema, you know, those places. Because those tend to be, you know, where a lot of tourists, like I said earlier, a lot of tourists hang out at. Um, you have more access to resources, more of, um, you know, you more of your um, conveniences, you know, access to the beach. So, I definitely re recommend if you come into uh, Rio to come to go stay in the uh, South Zone. Uh, then, you know, once you keep coming here, then eventually, you know, you want to branch out to the other other zones, check those out. Uh, so, yeah, so definitely, um, definitely, definitely, definitely. It's one of the uh, things I, um, I had to figure out, you know, and when I first take, took my trips here to Brazil, man, just deciding where I want to spend my time at. So, you know, like, just like anyone else, you know, I started out in the tourist areas, man. And eventually, you know, I branched out, you know, with other areas around Rio. And I know this particular time around, I changed it up a little bit. I told myself, you know, you know since I'm, I'm, you know, I'm here for a year, so, I told myself what I was going to do instead of staying in one particular area, you know, in Rio, I was going to stay in different parts of the um, city. You know, so far I stayed in all three, all three um, zones uh, here in Rio, North zone, South zone, and West zone. So, and uh, there are some differences, man. It's like I said, it's, there's some differences, man. You know similarities but most definitely some stark differences so and one difference is definitely the the price cost cost of cost of living and cost of goods foods stuff like that yeah definitely you're gonna pay a premium a big time premium in the south zone zone of soup you know like i said before which is copacabana uh, Ipanema and LeBlanc, you're definitely gonna pay a heavy price tag in those areas, man. Uh, as far as like just rent, you know, just real estate, you know, so it's, it's a prime, it's a prime area, you know, access to the beaches and uh, you know, just other amenities, stuff like that. So you're definitely gonna pay a lot. You're gonna pay a lot, man. It's, it's gonna break that wall. I mean, I just, hey, 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 the, hey, the tell it. Like that, but hey, that's the truth, man. You really gonna come out of the pocket is on the soil. But at the same time, you I think you'll have your most your most fun there because those are where all your your popular restaurants, bars, and like I said, you get access access to the beaches. You have all your your um your um, other tourist areas. Of course the Christ statue, you know, is gonna be there around gonna be around that area. Now hold on, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, that might be. I think it's considered, yeah, because Christ statue that's in Corvado. So Corvado, I think that's, um, I think that's on the soul. So you know, like I said, my, uh, like I said in the comments, just let me know if um, the Christ statue is, um, cause I know, I know it's in Corvado, but is Corvado part of Zona Sul or is it kind of like, you know, uh, considered Zona Noise? So, but uh, I think it, I think it's on the soul. I think it's on the soul. So, you know, just let me know in the comments, you know. Y'all let me know. But yeah, yeah, definitely. First time coming, definitely wanna stay in that area, in that area on the soul. But you're gonna be paying a lot. Um now if you wanna kinda like not go off the beaten path, but if you wanna if if you wanna come well no, I'm sorry. If you wanna if this is not just your, I guess your second or third time coming to Brazil, coming to Rio, and you want to try something different as far as like just staying in the area where you still have access to the beaches and you still have, um, you know, more so of an um, authentic Brazilian feel, you know, but still kind of in that, in that, uh, 
quasi tourist touristy area uh but you know you still want to get that a, a little more authentic brazilian feel uh definitely try out the zona waste in particular um bara tajuca or jacara uh especially the bara tajuca so because those areas you know it's uh, especially bara you know you still you you're still near you know the, the amenities that's you know that's um favors a lot of tourists so you know like i say still got the beach there and uh still it's, it's still a heavy a heavy tourist presence but at the same time you get the real you still get the real deal brazilian feel you know so it's and there's and there's a lot of malls there's a lot of a lot of shopping malls a lot of shopping malls in bottom man a lot a lot so I mean, you're not you, you're not gonna get bored in terms of shopping. So, in particular, um, one of my favorite malls in Bada is uh, Bada Bada Shopping. I, I love that mall. It's huge, real big. I mean, I think it's I think it's probably one of the biggest malls in. Um, I know definitely in Rio, but uh, might be um, might be in Brazil. big one of the biggest malls in in, in Brazil. Um, again, let me know in the comments. You know, just let me know. Um, yeah, about a shopping because it's part. It's part of a whole what they call like met like shopping megaplex. You know, which is like uh, it's like malls within malls within malls. So, but the biggest one in the area is uh is is uh about a shopping. So, and then right next to it, you know, Kabata is pretty much your regular typical mall you know you have your brazilian stores you know you have some um international stores you know um you know a lot of food courts a lot of restaurants you know i think it's near um a, a, a few hotels too if i'm not mistaken but right next to there is uh, a, a mall called village mall and village mall pretty much is going to be your kind of like your high-end luxury type of mall man uh that's where you like your gucci's your products and all that so you know your real high-end louis vuitton you know i think it has the east st laurent store if i'm not mistaken burberry i think it has burberry too so but uh you know they're your more exclusive mall so yeah so definitely um in terms of you know, staying in the other areas. Is this your third, or fourth, fifth time coming to Rio? I definitely recommend coming to the West Zone. It's on always. And uh, now, if you really, you know, you if you really season, <laughs> if you really know your way around, of course, obviously, you know, you'll probably stay anywhere. You know, one, one of the three zones. Uh, but when it comes to North Zone, you know. I tell you this. Now this is that's the area, man. This is an area where you really gotta know first of all, like where to go. You gotta know you gotta know people too. You gotta have you gotta definitely gotta know people that stay in the area so they can uh, show you around. And uh because yeah, yeah, it's 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 pretty dangerous up here, man. It's pretty dangerous, man. It's pretty dangerous, man. Um but like I said, that's that's all around Rio. I mean, it's you know so. But at the same time, it is fairly safe. So like I said, you just gotta know where you're going. You know, just make sure you know you're with the right people, and uh, you know just plan accordingly. You know, you'll be all right up here in the north zone. And uh, yeah, it's I mean it's, it's 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 a nice area. It's a nice area. A lot of history up here too. Um, in particular, it's a neighborhood called Maduera. Uh, uh, so that's a lot, you know. It's one of the most historical places, neighborhood around the north zone, Maduera. So, uh, yeah, so you know, that's pretty much, you know, I just give y'all a rundown of the zones here in uh, Rio de Janeiro. So, you know, like I said, if y'all have any, you know, kind of questions or whatever, comments, concerns about, you know, about Rio, or if you, you know, if you, stayed in one of these areas before 
you know, just tell me your experience. You know, how'd you like it? You know, stuff like that. If you have friends, you have friends here. You know, just you know, just you know, just let me know in the comments, man. Just you know, say how you feel about staying in, you know, Zona Sul, you know, Zona East, or, or Zona uh, Zona Norwich. So, but yeah, yeah. So, I'm a, um definitely, like I say, I definitely appreciate y'all for um, you know just checking out my channel. You know, checking out my videos and uh you know i'm gonna continue to put more out here and like i said once again i appreciate everybody you know just supporting me because you know i'm not you know i'm not a you know i'm not a real big channel you know I, you know i'm not not big so i need all the you know support i can get so <laughs> you know but uh definitely definitely appreciate y'all and uh yo but we're gonna keep doing it here. Brazil, baby. Hey, I'm gonna holler at y'all. Y'all be easy out there. Peace.